Are there risk factors for a preterm birth? Oh, there are many risk factors for preterm birth. Uh, the most important one is uh, prior spontaneous preterm birth, uh, but also, for example, race, being African-American, having surgery uh, to your cervix, like a con biopsy, multiple abortions. Um, there are actually over 30 different risk factors for preterm birth. Is the cervical lens uh, the better screening test for uh, preterm uh, birth? Yes, I think that cervical length measured by transvaginal ultrasound is the best uh, marker uh, to predict a preterm birth. Uh, it works differently in different populations. For example, if you have had a prior preterm birth, um, it actually detects 70% of those women who are going to have a second preterm birth. In singleton gestation without a preterm birth, it only predicts about 30% of the ones going to uh, deliver preterm. But of all of the risk factors that we have, as I say, over 30, cervical length is the most predictive and also the most useful clinically because we're treatments. When to use the glass and uh, is a better vaginal or laparoscopic treatment? So surclash uh, does prevent preterm birth in some patients. I think the best population to use surclash in is in women with a singleton gestation, a prior preterm birth, who then you follow by cervical length and they develop a short cervix. In, in those women, surclash decreases preterm birth by about 30% and uh, um, perinatal morbidity and mortality, baby dying, uh, by about 36%. So that's really important. Uh, most of those surclashes are placed transvaginally. Um, it's a simple, quick operation. Um, if the lady goes on to have preterm birth, even with one of these transvaginal cerclages, those are the rare cases in which a laparoscopic or robotic cerclage can be done. Yeah. And after the labor, is there a role for maintenance uh, therapy and what uh, type of drugs? So if somebody comes in and has preterm labor um, and then you uh, treat it and they stop, they remain at high risk for preterm birth. Unfortunately, tocolytic drugs, so drugs that are supposed to prolong the pregnancy even more, don't seem to work. So using maintenance tocolysis for women with arrested preterm labor uh, so far has been shown ineffective.